Hi, this is Dark Fox 127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at creating a BSA and we're also going to look at how you can unpack one. So I'm going to be going through three methods in this video on how to do this. They're the three most common methods and ones that I would prefer to use. So it's actually going to include a built-in program to the Creation Kit, a program that you can use that comes free with the Creation Kit, and also a third party program that's available on the Skyrim Nexus which I'll probably cover last which is called BSI Opt. Now the first method I'm going to show you is using the creation kit which is pretty much automatic and I'm going to use my mod which I'm currently working on at the time of this video which is called the Chicken Reborn. It's a fairly small mod at least at the moment so it shouldn't be too difficult to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to load that up. Now that's loaded, I am going to go to file here. And this is going off that the fact that your mod is pretty much finished or you just want to pack it into a BSA how it is currently and you want to test it out and see if things are working. So it's really simple in the creation kit. You just go under file as I have here and you've got create archive or you've actually got the option if you are going to upload to the Steam Workshop, you've got upload active plugin and archive to Steam, which should also do it for you. Now, if you were to click on this, then it's going to bring up the upload box. This is something I'm going to cover in a later tutorial. But before it does that, if there isn't a BSA currently in your data folder for this mod, it will come up and it will let you pack the files up there. And then it should automatically lead straight back into the upload process. Now, if you have currently got a BSA already in your data folder that you've made either earlier on or by using another program and dumped in there later on, then it's going to also detect that and it will bring up the option like we'll see in a video that I do later on for Steam uploads. It will say that there's currently a BSA, would you like to use it? And you go ahead and click yes. But if you haven't got one, then you can either do the method I just said or you can just create one and not actually go to the upload process. So you want to go ahead and click create archive. Now depending on the size of your mod this may take quite a while to load up and there might be a lot of files here and you might even end up with a scroll bar. So if it's taking a while then just wait for however long you want, a few minutes. If it's still not happening then it's either froze or it really is just taking a long while. It depends on your machine specs and it also obviously depends on the size of your mod. If it's like hundreds of megabytes of files, it could take a good five or 10 minutes. So you've just got to be patient. But obviously in this case, it's, it's a fairly small amount of files that I've got here. Now what you do here is just click pack files and for some reason, I've been having issues with this where it said it's failed, but it has actually gone ahead and still created it. And I've also had bugs where it's for some reason deleted my ESP. So just to be sure, what you might want to go ahead and do first, which I've already done, is just go and create yourself a backup of your ESP and dump it on your desktop, wherever you want to put it, uh, just somewhere safe, uh, because you don't really want to lose your work. So I already had, went ahead and did that. And as you can see, what you can do, the easiest way of doing this is you need to make sure that you are going to name this exactly the same as the ESP which the BSA is going to go with. So in my case, it's the chicken. And the easiest way to do it is to click on the chicken reborn and check that the name's there. As you can see, it's automatically going to create a BSA and you will click save. And as you can see there, for some reason, mine is saying failed. Yours might go ahead and say it succeeded. And again, depending on the size of your mod, it might take a little while to happen. So I've clicked OK. And if we just go ahead and check that, oddly enough, it has created the BSA. But as you can see, for some reason, the ESP's disappeared. So luckily, I've got my own backup of this, which I'm going to put back in. Now, like I say, it might not be the case for you, but that's happened to me. So, as you can see, the file size looks about right. It seems to have created it. BSL is more to do with the upload process. So, if you are uploading to the Steam Workshop, you might want to keep that in there. If you're not uploading to the Steam Workshop, I would recommend just going ahead and deleting that because you don't really need it. But the reason I'm going to give you other options is because of, of this right here. What we've just seen happen, the unreliable creation kit uh, I wouldn't be trusting that to create a BSA so I usually create my BSAs in what you would call a manual way 
but this is not entirely useless. If you click on create archive and you get your list here, the creation kit at the very least does a very good job at telling you exactly what files you actually use, uh, which is useful because ma making it manually means that you're gonna have to keep track of everything that you use on your own. Now, another thing I'm gonna mention is, of course, creating your BSA is gonna include all the files that you need. Now, in most cases, people that are doing pretty simple modding are just going to be using mainly the actual games resources which are built into the games ESM, so there might not be a lot here for you. But if you are using things like resources, as you can see here, I'm using different people's resources, which of course I'd have to give credit for, and I'm even using some of my own resources. So this is automatically going to make sure that those files are going to be included and you're not going to have a problem. But like I say, it's a bit of a faulty system. So if you're creating it manually and you've used other people's resources, you're going to need to make sure that those files are included. And this is a great way of seeing everything that you do need to include in your BSA. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to gather those files together myself and put them into a folder on my desktop. And then I'll go ahead and I will show you the way that you can create your BSA manually using the built-in program or included program with the creation kit and also a third party program. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and done here is go to my data folder and copy the folder structure for the files and folders that were shown in the creation kit. So I've got my meshes, scripts, sounds and textures here and if you click in, I've copied all of the files across from the resources that I've used, everything. And like I say, copy the folder structure exactly how it is. Otherwise, it, it's not going to work correctly. And that's all you have to do there. So I've got that on a data folder on my desktop there. Now you don't really have to call it the data folder, but it just makes more sense to me and it's pretty simple enough to do. So what you wanna go and do is head to your Skyrim directory, not the data folder, the Skyrim directory. You'll know that you're in the right place because you'll see the creation kit exe here, and you should see the archive exe. So if you double click that, you'll get this little box open up. And it's pretty simple to use. You want to click edit, add directory, navigate to your desktop, which it should automatically go to anyway, and click on the folder, unless you've placed this somewhere else, direct to it. Click OK, and you should see that it lists all of the files here that you've actually used. So I've got some meshes, scripts, sound, and textures. Then you wanna click the correct tick boxes here. Now, if you're not sure which ones to tick, then you can probably just go ahead and tick all of them. It's usually a pretty safe bet, and it doesn't usually mess anything up. But I'm going to click meshes, textures, sounds, and miscellaneous. And then I'm going to tick the top three boxes that I can here, ignoring the two dulled out ones there, which is compress archive, retain directory names, and retain file names. And then I'm going to click save as under the file section. And I'm just gonna save this to the desktop for, for myself at the moment. And it needs to be named exactly the same as the ESPs in your data folder. So I'm just going to, the easiest way to do it is sort of copy that. So it's going to be df127 the chicken reborn in my case. I'm gonna dump it on the desktop, but if you want, you can go ahead and just save it directly into your data folder, especially if you're going to be uploading to the Steam Workshop, that's where it's going to need to be. So then I'm gonna click save, and it should go ahead and do that. Now be aware that this might take a little longer uh, packing up the files if you've got quite a large mod. But that is, uh, that's pretty much as simple as it gets with that program. And as you can see here, I have the BSA on the desktop and the BSL. Now, if you are uploading to the Steam Workshop, you're going to want to drag the BSL along with the BSA into there. But if you're not uploading to the Steam Workshop, you can go ahead and just delete that. And there is your BSA. And in fact, if we just right click and properties, you can see that it's actually turned out to be a smaller size than the one that the creation kits built in system did. So that's actually one advantage of using the archives manual system. So the third method that I want to show you is what I mentioned earlier using this third party program which is available on the Skyrim Nexus at the time of this video. It's called BSA Opt and it's a pretty simple program although people might find it a little confusing to begin with but it really is quite simple and it's a very useful tool and it's got a couple of advantages. 
Now I'm not going to go through the installation progress, you can sort of read through the description on the mod page here, but I've gone ahead and gone under files, downloaded it manually and then installed it where I want and it's actually taken a while to load for some reason. Uh, but the files are there, you just download it, install it where you want and I've got a shortcut on my taskbar here, so I'm going to click that, open that up. Now depending on where the browser is pointing to the browser section is pointing towards it could take a little while to load because it likes to sort of gather up all of the files and folders in the selected location and if there's quite a lot there it can take a while but as you can see i've been playing around with it i have selected my corinthia tower reborn files that i've had collected up on my desktop in this uh, folder here i've sort of got them all laid out and it's got all of the files and folders here so you can see this is quite a good example of a mod that might have a lot of files. And the top section here, for this method of packing up, we want to select the files and folders that we have for the chicken, which is in our data folder. Click use folder. Let that load those up. Again, if it's a large mod, it might take a little longer. And then the bottom section here is going to be where we're going to place it, so where the BSC is going to go. And as you can see it says BSC there, and all you've got to do is yet again use the name that you want, which is going to be the exact same as your ESP, and click save. And then you'll see that the buttons have changed here slightly, so it now says pack, and all you've got to do is click that. But before you do that, one thing I'll mention is you can actually change the compression. So this is going to affect the speed that it compiles and it's also going to, it compresses even, it's also going to affect the size of the file. Now I'm just going to leave that at, at what I've got it as, which is 10. And there are some other options that you can use, but you can read up on the mod page about them. So I'm going to click pack. Now it hasn't taken very long because it's quite a small mod, but again, if it's a large mod, you'll have to be patient. And as you can see, it creates just a BSA, whereas the other ways that we've used have created a BSL as well, but that's to work alongside the Steam Workshop, which we wouldn't be using if we're using this method anyway. We're probably gonna be uploading to the Skyrim Nexus or somewhere else. So that's how you create a BSA in those three different methods. There are gonna be other tools out there, other ways that you can do this, but these are the three common ways. These are the ways that I personally use and I find them uh, quite easy to do uh, once you get going. So what you can actually do as well, like I said, is unpack BSAs and all you've gotta do is click browse on the top section here. And I'm just going to select the BSA that I've just made as an example, click open. And again, it'll show you everything that's included in that BSA. And then I'm going to click browse at the bottom here. And I'm going to select desktop, use folder. And it'll actually skim through anything that's on the desktop that it feels is relevant. And then you can see that the button's changed here to unpack. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then it will unpack and dump all of the files and folders on my desktop. And that is pretty much it for this video, so hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Please check out my social media, and I'm mostly active on Facebook, but I do post automatically elsewhere. Uh, you can check out my main website at www.docfox127.co.uk, as you can see on the screen there, where I've got all of the latest news, and I've been doing quite a lot of updates at the time of this video, so it's all looking a bit more professional and easy to find things. And of course, leave comments in the comment section below so that you can help each other out. And if I've got the time, I can actually reply to some comments if you've got any questions. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.